we came here, not just because of the 50 years, but because of something else, which uh, Mbawa's did. And you can't talk about that without talking about Uganda and, and Africa. So now, if you are a freedom fighter, you are, you are like a priest plus plus. Because you are committed, but you are committed on something dangerous, not peaceful, not what, and disruptive. So, we must praise God to see that we, the freedom fighters, we are able also to have families. Those of us who did not die managed to, to, to have families in addition to the fighting, which was very intense. So therefore, I want to congratulate Right Honorable Mbabazi and Jackie for building up a family, having children and now grandchildren in the context of, 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 of instability of the resistance struggle, being separated, going here, going there, but still God blesses us with the family. So I want to congratulate them and praise God for you. And to be able to stay together up to these years, these years, these 50 years, I congratulate them. I just wanted to thank God for this day, for this achievement. It's not a mean achievement, and we owe it to God. It was in this whirlwind of chaos and uncertainty that I met Jacqueline. Jacqueline was not just a beacon of outer beauty, but a pillar of inner strength. In her, I saw not just a partner for the moment, but a companion for life. Someone who could shoulder the burden or the burdens of her struggle, nurture her family, and if fate so dictated, continue the fight without me. It was, the, it was this unwavering strength, this indomitable spirit that drew me to her. And together, we went back to my journey. A journey that has weathered storms, faced the aspect of death, and endured the hardships of exile. In this journey of life, we've been blessed with friends, family, and comrades who have stood by us through, the, through thick and thin. Tonight is an honor to have among us President Yemen Museveni and First Lady Janet Museveni. With your presence, at our celebration and the layer of significance that is deeply felt. President Museveni and I have traversed long and challenging paths in the struggle against dictatorships in Uganda, advocating for justice and the dignity of our people. This journey has spanned more than half a century testament to our enduring commitment to the cause we hold very dear to our hearts. Indeed, as the President said, as Nguru Ugunda mentioned about a decade ago, our paths diverged over differences that 
in hindsight, paying in comparison to the shared convictions and struggles that have defined our lives. The common cause that initially united us, the fight for freedom and democracy in Uganda, remains a beacon that guides our actions and beliefs. Tonight is not just a celebration of a passing milestone, but again, a testament to the resilience, courage, and dedication of all those who stood firm in the face of diversity for the greater good of our beloved country. As a wife and uh, Humphrey Zay, our chairperson of the Private Sector Foundation, who is the son in the family. I also want to take this opportunity to thank President Museveni for knowing the strong points of Ndugu Amama. You remember the other day, Ndugu Amama was an uh, attorney general, a job he did very well but had two or three other ministries. And you remember the name Super Minister. I think in Bugamama, this was merely a recognition of your capacity and ability to be able to perform well in the responsibilities that you are given. 